Hey guys, Kevin Cage back with another daily cryptocurrency video. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe if you like what you see and let's get right into the information today. And again, I'm going to say this one time. This is not financial advice. Always do your own research. Do not just go on YouTube listening to a few sources. Do not just go through a few articles. Do not just scroll through Twitter. Research your research. You are responsible for your own decisions. I only invest what I can afford to lose. And I do speculate because this is a nascent market with plenty of upside potential. But again, it is anybody's guess. I do a combination of cycle analysis. I do fundamental analysis. I follow some technical analysis. And I try to combine all of this with news, market psychology, typical you know, social constructs as well, and the pendulum of society, how we migrate from centralized to decentralized. There's a lot of variables. And again, trends are your friends. History can often repeat, but it might not always repeat, but it often rhymes. So I want to talk about price potential, speculation, with XRP specifically in the entire cryptocurrency market, whether that's Bitcoin or any additional altcoin. Now, the upside to me is very, very powerful, especially as the Fed, with QE, quantitative easing, continues to print money indefinitely now. Originally, it was going to end on October 10th, then sometime the first week of November, then into quarter one or January 2020, and now they're basically saying this is happening indefinitely. They are printing Billions, billions upon billions of dollars per day. And by the time this is all said and done, this could be multiple trillions of dollars artificially pumped into the market. Whether that creates an artificial high for the stock market, again, this is not sustainable. This is pure manipulation as always. People are going to continue to look for safe havens. And if anything, I've seen this time and time again, this type of QE, this printing of money, Literally, just fake, fake money, artificial money into the system is going to speed up a financial collapse, a financial crisis. And in my, in my opinion, just like every crisis, it is based upon liquidity. Now, as we know, there is literally only one solution that comes to mind when you do your research in terms of on-demand liquidity, and that is XRP. When I first got into XRP, people told me it was a bankster's coin. It was centralized. But then I started questioning, what if it is successful what if it does see adoption into the quadrillions of dollars which is the potential market what if it saw one percent of that and i thought that upside is so high that it is absolutely worth it to look into this deeper and begin investing what i can afford to lose if i'm already in precious metals stocks and you know buying stupid things on a daily basis anyways let's reallocate some of that money so I'm going to go over this, guys. Let's talk about the Bitcoin halving and the typical market implications that we see from this. So basically, it's regarding the mining um, reward that miners get. We're aware of this already. If you're not, just do a quick Google search. I want to keep this video a little shorter. But basically, when the halving happened in 2012 for Bitcoin, there was a price spike in 2013. Doesn't look significant compared to you know then, but back then, this got some attention for the early adopters. And I remember hearing about this back from a professor I had, and it was really, really cool. I thought Bitcoin was just some centralized Chinese fake money. And again, I mean, <laughs> eh, everyone has their own opinion about that. But anyways, 2016 having, then we saw Bitcoin near $20,000 during the price spike. It's always delayed. Now, people are anticipating during the next having that is coming in May of 2020, that something big will happen. Now, keep in mind, we saw the speculative bull run during this two year bear market nearing two years. I'm just estimating we have seen more regulatory clarity come. We have seen more on ramps than ever, lower barriers to entry, more exchanges. The institutions are already in. They've gotten their feet wet. And admittedly, they've actually been admitting that they've been scooping up Bitcoin even back to like 2015. We're talking Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, some of these huge players. And yet you see on the news how they have some of their top people go around saying that it's all a scam. Don't touch it. Yeah, I mean, this is typical of them. They manipulate the precious metals market is so heavily manipulated that they're doing the same thing. The rich want to stay rich. And again, you have to be, you know, you have to be a contrarian investor to make serious money. And serious money is basically going against the status quo. Now, I'm not saying this is guaranteed by any means. There could be a whole other opportunities in other markets with voice, VR, AR. But what I'm saying is blockchain is revolutionary, and this will aid in the internet of value. Now, there's a few things, though. We could be too early still, which is my concern. But at the end of the day, I think that we are in the right place at the right time. So 
we see this price spikes. And what I want to talk about now, and this is going to give me some backlash, but you know what? This person has been correct. And this is dated back to June or January of 2019. Look at this dated January 21st of 2019. This person was basing everything off the chart. And I don't know if it was a potential algorithm or what, but they said the bottom was December 15, 2018. Look at the charts. We are in the bull market. We are currently in the last three months of accumulation stage. After that, we will slowly rise and rise. Then we will boom screen cap this or screenshot this. And now they predicted April 2019 Bitcoin at 5,300. Let's look at the price history. April 4,000. 5,000 still April. Wow. 5,200, almost 50, yeah, about 5,000. So about 5,200 is what we saw. Okay. What did they predict for July? 9,200 for Bitcoin. That's a pretty big increase. Now let's look at July. We see it all the way up to, let's see, 9,900, 11,000, 12,000, and then as we go kind of towards the end of July, we can see 10,000 and then we'll see right around, let's see, 90, 9,800. Okay. 10,000 and then 9,400. So regardless, their prediction was conservative compared to what actually happened. We're up a th few couple hundred. Now they are predicting October, 2019, $16,000. And if you ask me, with based off the TA that I follow, I was seeing 16K as maybe a potential end of year for Bitcoin. And again, this would raise the cryptocurrency market cap as a whole and bring the altcoins up. Remember, all boats rise in the tide. Bitcoin was the first. It has the most market dominance. And typically, its moves do determine the other moves of these other altcoins, these alternative coins that you see on coin market cap or whatever website you decide to use. And then they predict, as we're nearing the halving, February 2020, Bitcoin at $29,000, July $56,000, in November of next year, $87,000. Now, in $87,000, Bitcoin, that Bitcoin alone, not cryptocurrency, just Bitcoin, would have a $1.5 trillion market cap. And they're assuming the dominance of Bitcoin will drop. And again, two-day Bitcoin dominance is... What is Bitcoin dominance? Approximately 66%. Okay. So they're predicting that this dominance is going to drop to about 40 to 46%. So let's do some basic math here. So here's some little charts that I made. And for XRP and Bitcoin, just to play with it with the circulating supply. So as we can see, Bitcoin, we have a circulating supply of just under about 18 million Bitcoin that are circulating today. And keep in mind, this is just what the price is based off at this time. And with an $87,000 Bitcoin, again, for look, a million dollar BTC, I don't think that'll ever happen, ever. I'd be surprised to see a $100,000 um, $100, Bitcoin. But again, to each their own. I am not a long time believer in Bitcoin, but anything can happen. But right there, that would be $17 trillion in market capitalization. I don't see Bitcoin being that valuable. I don't care if you say it's a store of value. I am a bull on XRP and true utility in market adoption. But same thing can go for XRP. And I'll go over these things. These are just little rough charts. And I don't believe in a $10,000 XRP. But again, I just wanted to kind of go over this. So right now we're, you know, nearing 30 cents. All-time high was $3.84. And again, all-time high for Bitcoin was just over $20,000. If you use Coin Paprika, other sites would estimate around $19,000. But what I want to go over is basically this estimation, okay? So I wrote down some figures and just did some quick math. So if I'm understanding this prediction correctly, they're predicting Bitcoin at $87,000. Per Bitcoin with the 40 to 46 percent dominance in the Bitcoin market cap is 1.5 trillion dollars. So let's just use 40 percent to keep things simple, do some cross multiplication. So the total cryptocurrency market cap, if Bitcoin was only 40 percent, the remaining 60 percent. So the total 100 percent market cap of cryptocurrency when Bitcoin is at eighty seven thousand dollars next November would be approximately $3.75 trillion. So almost a $4 trillion market cap. Now, what I want to do is let's look at XRP's market dominance. So today we have XRP at about, let's say 28, 29 cents, market cap about 12.3 billion out of 217 billion. So that is about a 5.66%. 
All right. So 5.66% of all cryptocurrency. And keep in mind, utility is not ramped up at all. This is being super, super conservative. If anything, I'm being pessimistic with the price of XRP during this time. So keep that in mind. All right. Now, with a $3.75 trillion market cap like this person predicts, which is just for fun, guys, we're playing with numbers here to do some basic math and speculate. $3.75 trillion market cap, and then 5.6% of that is about a $212.6 billion market cap for XRP, putting XRP on the low end. And keep in mind, there's huge multiplier effects that I'll go over at the end. This is a very, very low price, in my opinion, of $5 per XRP. Now, before you leave an angry comment, pay attention. So as we go on, I obviously believe XRP through actual utility is going to flip Bitcoin and take over market dominance dramatically in terms of actual utilities I've been saying. Now, this is just assuming worst case 5.66% market share. But now let's talk about if we flip Bitcoin entirely, captured 40% of that 3.75 trillion market cap. So a 1.5 trillion market cap for XRP that would throw XRP at roughly $35 per XRP. Now again, there's no multiplier effects involved in this. So keep in mind, this is just peanuts to me because I personally have way higher expectations. I mean, guys, even a dollar XRP, like I'm good, I'm not worried. But for everybody that has different exit plans, some people want a $5 XRP, some people want $10, some people want $1,000, it doesn't matter. Everybody's circumstance is different. What I'm saying is this is peanuts and I wanna play around with this math for fun. And keep in mind that price predictions as a whole are a fool's errand. Nobody has any way in knowing when or how much something can be valued. Market cap is completely fairy dust. It's completely speculative. It's a social construct. It's all about the last you know, bid price and ask on the order books. You can change it anytime you want. That's why some people believe in the Shane Ellis theory. And to be honest, anything is possible. Who am I to say what's not possible? Just like my Bitcoin predictions, I, you know, nobody has any say, honestly. But anyways, I'm personally seeing what I need to see and what I need to confirm that we can get into the tens of trillions of dollars of market capitalization with XRP if we continue, of course, to see adoption and basic corridors being lit, but way beyond just cross-border remittance and the $155 trillion there and freeing the, you know, 10 to $27 $27 trillion in dormant capital lying there. I'm talking about getting involved in DeFi, decentralized finance, which we are finally seeing. We're talking about trade finance. Guys, this is where the trillions of dollars, and we're talking about actually developing derivatives on the XRP ledger. Guys, the low end of the derivatives market is $544 trillion. The high end can be valued at $1.2 quadrillion. So literally 10% of that low end of 544 trillion, that's $54 trillion. Still sound like too much and unrealistic? Okay, well, 1% of that is $5.4 trillion right there. Do we need the derivatives market to succeed uh, for the entire XRP ecosystem? Absolutely not. That is just additional upside. With asset fractionalization, we are moving towards a cashless and digital economy. Everything's being tokenized. Property, some properties have been tokenized, but we're going to be seeing more of that. We already know of the stock markets being blended, the tr traditional markets being merged with the XRP ledger. So we're going to have some of the global stock markets in the world. And then additionally, it would not surprise me one bit to see securities being tokenized very shortly. We already know about Ripple and Coinbase's huge investment into securitize to capture $7 trillion of that market. You have to look at what's happening. I've been saying this in a few videos recently, but you know, people say follow the money. Even I've been saying that follow the big money, follow the big money. But if you want to make serious money, you have to take the risk and predict where the big money is going. Be there before the money. All right. So what I want to emphasize more than anything, and this is where I get even more bullish, all right? And I do not want to upset you guys if I'm challenging your views, but I personally, I don't care. I can voice my opinion. But I don't personally believe the 43 billion XRP that's circulating right here, I don't believe there's 43 billion XRP circulating. We got Matthew Mellon that lost what, hundreds of millions? I went over the figure in a previous video. We have different wallets and people that are locking it up. We know exchanges are holding billions. We know Ripple has billions. We know, you know, 50 billion are locked up in escrow. We know that some of the founders are holding billions. Even the first people like Roger Ver, 
or Ver, however you say his name again, we know that they're holding huge, huge amounts. And in reality, I believe, and based off of a lot of actual statistics, there's more like five to 10 billion XRP that are really circulating. Now, we can add a huge multiplier effect to this, especially with every price I just named, like $35 per XRP, that's nothing. Now, with this multiplier effect, what, 43 billion divided by five, it's like 4.3, and then 43 billion divided by 10, 8.6. So like anywhere from a 4X to an 8.6X multiplier effect right there based on the circulating supply. So an average of like 4.3 and 8.6, average of like 6.45X multiplier effect right there if you're taking an average, and I'm just playing with these numbers here, 6.45x times that $35 XRP estimate that I gave earlier, just talking about capturing 40% of next year, guys, that would be $225 per XRP right there. Now, honestly, Susie from Esoteric Trading, actually a legitimate financial advisor, four years, what is it, 40 plus years of experience she's had, if not at least 30. And she literally has that video going over every little figure, predicting over $100 XRP in the first year of true usage, then growing to $300, then to $800, etc. down the road. And that's not far-fetched to anybody that truly understands the ecosystem, understands the power of network effects. As you realize, when people are using on-demand liquidity, Liquidity utilizing XRP for cross border remittance. The li liquidity in the order books have enough, enough depth to provide savings. It's very possible. Now, the question is how probable is this? That is what I want to get you guys thinking. Let me know your thoughts down below. And I believe that we will see some big price movement very shortly leading up the swell as well. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.